Churchill is still so important to us because many of the lessons that he taught us are just as relevant today as they were back in the 1940s when he was um, himself Prime Minister. Things to do with oratory, to do with strength of purpose and strength of character, uh, to do with trustworthiness and of course the whole issue in foreign affairs also of being strong and thereby trying to de deter um, potential aggressors. I mean these are things that have been around for a thousand years, but they've never really been so well articulated as by Sir Winston Churchill. Churchill didn't go out of his way to become charismatic. I mean, they, he didn't use tricks of the trade to do that in the way that a lot of uh, modern politicians try to do, for example, Barack Obama, um, who has lots of oratorical techniques that he, uh, that he tried. Instead, Winston Churchill had no spin doctors, uh, he had no speech writers at all, wrote all his own speeches, and yet, because of his self-education, uh, he didn't go to university, he was a man who, who entirely taught himself. He was able, through his intelligence and his hard work and his total dedication to um, his speechifying, to his rhetoric, able to create a body of speeches that uh, will last as long as the English language does. I think a classic example of what on the face of it looked like a disaster uh, and the way he managed to use the modern parlance spin it uh, into something that actually made Britain stronger was at the time of the disaster at Dunkirk. A quarter of a million British troops had come back from Dunkirk but they'd come back largely without their weapons, without any tanks or lorries or anything like that and so as a result this was an unmitigated defeat and a disaster and as Churchill himself said in the House of Commons, wars are not won by evacuations. So he wasn't in any tr way trying to sugarcoat the pill um, as many other politicians might have done. Uh, instead he spoke of the uh, attack that was expected and said that we were going to fight them on the beaches. Now this, instead of demoralising the British people, instead inspired them and uh, some uh, half a million people joined the Home Guard in order literally to fight them on the beaches. Lord Helsham once told me that uh, he believed that the only time that he ever saw the hand of God in history was when Winston Churchill became Prime Minister in May 1940. He said that the time and the man came together in a way that was quite literally miraculous. And I think that's right, really, because um, I don't know about whether the Almighty's hand was involved in it, but nonetheless, the real danger, the true peril of Britain being invaded uh, was there. Had the Battle of Britain been lost, Hitler would have attempted an invasion of Britain. And yet, at the helm, at exactly the same time, you know, Churchill became Prime Minister on the same day that Hitler unleashed his blitzkrieg in the West. Uh, you have this man in charge of Britain who not only has been interested in war all his life, he'd taken part in many wars himself, of course, and he'd been at the uh, top of the government at the time of the First World War as well. So he felt he knew about war and strategy and tactics. But also, he had this quite astonishing ability to make speeches that solidified the British people's will to fight on and then uh, directed it as well. I think the three classic Churchillian leadership messages really um, are tenacity, the first one. During the wilderness years when he was out of office and um, widely reviled and accused of being a warmonger and accused of exaggerating the threat of Hitler and the Nazis, he didn't tone down what he said. He instead, he, if anything, he um, exaggerated it. He went further and pointed out what a, uh, what a monster Adolf Hitler was going to become. And of course, he was proved absolutely right. So tenacity of purpose is the first thing. The second thing is what I'm uh, speaking about today is oratory, is making sure you're good at public speaking, you can persuade people through the power of rhetoric and that is something that can be learned. Um, Churchill himself learned it. He wasn't a natural uh, orator. He had to work very hard at it. In fact, he had a speech impediment that he had to uh, overcome as well. And the third thing is judgment. He made terrible mistakes in his life, a series of awful mistakes and uh, Gallipoli being the classic example in the First World War. But he learnt from them and his judgment grew and grew and so when he became Prime Minister on the 10th of May 1940 he said that all my past life has been but a preparation for this hour and this trial. And in a sense that's absolutely right. His life had been a preparation because he learnt from his mistakes and I think those three things, tenacity, oratory and the ability to learn from mistakes are the three things that Winston Churchill teaches us about leadership.